Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, August 18th, 2016. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. We're about to enter the official crunch time phase for all the competitors heading to this year's Mr. Olympia. But I get the funny feeling that 212 powerhouse Dobri Deleb isn't going to have any problems being ready in time. Recently some new photos surfaced of the Bulgarian destroyer looking as shredded and as dangerous as we have ever seen him this far out. It's been a bit of a quiet season for Delev, who's only competed twice so far. But when you follow up a dominating win at the Charlotte Cup with a hotly contested third place finish at the Chicago Pro, I guess you can rest easy knowing that your place as one of the best in the business is still firmly secured. Despite being pegged as a potential top 10 threat at last year's Olympia, Delev ended up failing to even place, which had to leave a sour taste in his mouth. If he can shake off the cobwebs from last year and just focus on bringing his best, he shouldn't have any problem at all erasing all those bad memories. It's been a while since we've heard anything from Ibrahim Fahim. Outside of a solid 6th place finish back at the Toronto Pro a few weeks ago, it's been a relatively quiet season for the former amateur Olympia winner. This week, Fahim released some footage from what looked to be a monstrous back training session and showed off some of the results from all those long hard hours he's been putting in the office lately. When he's in shape, Fahim has a tool set that could be very dangerous in the right lineup. And if he picks his shows correctly, it isn't hard to imagine him snagging a win at some point in the very near future. Now that his last bit of official business has been taken care of for the year, it seems as if rookie 212 Pro Ricardo Correa is ready to start his improvement season off on the right foot. The 2013 British national overall champ made his pro debut a few weeks back at the Tampa Pro but ended up free falling all the way down to 14th place after failing to come in hard enough or full enough to ever really be in contention. When it comes to raw talent and genetic gifts, Correa has the sort of small waist, smooth aesthetics and big billowy muscle bellies we've seen be successful over and over again in the 212 division. But stepping onto a pro stage is an entirely different ball game. And if he wants to maximize those genetic gifts and turn into the potential Olympic caliber athlete many predicted him to be years ago, he'll need to focus on bringing his absolute best to the stage, which might just be good enough to make him an impact player in the 212 division. We're only a few days away from seeing bodybuilding history take place when the curtain finally draws on the inaugural Arnold Asia where it looks like we're going to get our next chance to see second year sensation Roman Fritz hit the stage. This week, Fritz released his final progress photos heading into this weekend's event, where we see the perpetually shredded German beast looking like something chiseled and grainy straight out of a time machine from the early 90s. A few weeks ago, we saw him showcase some very solid improvements down at the Tampa Pro, and the judges just so happened to agree because they ended up rewarding him with a fourth place finish for his efforts. The lineup at the Arnold is looking very top heavy right now which might pose some major problems for Fritz if he was planning on keeping that run of top five finishes intact. But Fritz is a German bodybuilding terminator who never stops coming and always brings a dangerous look. Expect Fritz to be vying for a top three placing in Hong Kong. Over the last few years, we've seen some of the best new talent in the sport emerge from our own backyard, right here in the Garden State. And this coming weekend, bodybuilding, fitness, and physique fans from across this tri-state area can expect to see all sorts of high-level competition across the board at one of the last remaining national qualifiers before the IFBB North American. It's the New Jersey State Championships. Fans planning on coming out to the Wilkins Theater on the campus of Kane University better make sure they arrive early and get their popcorn ready because not only are they going to witness some intense battles for the titles of Mr. and Miss New Jersey State, they'll also have a chance to check out guest posers Guy Cisternino and Victor Martinez, both of whom are just weeks away from stepping on stage at the Olympia. Unfortunately, our good friend Akeem Williams will not be able to make it as planned because he'll be competing at this weekend's Arnold Asia, 
but I'm sure everyone in the building will be there wishing him the best of luck as he squares off in the biggest competition yet. For more information on the New Jersey State Championships, be sure to head over to the Diamond Gym Facebook page or check out npcnewsonline.com. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hey guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one. Woo!